Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Travis back again here at Big Boy Tour Reviews, and we're taking a look at another Buzz Mod figure again from Demon Slayer. This time we are taking a look at Shinobu Kocho. Kacho? I'm not quite sure how that's pronounced. Um, but yeah, you already, god damn it, fucking fly. We took a look at uh, Ginyu. Is that, was, was that his name? Ginyu? Gin, Tomioka. Um, took a look at him. Now we're going to take a look at her. Um, take a look at the box really quick. <clears throat> very, very similar to Tomioka's. I didn't mention in, that, in his review, but I want to mention this now. Well, I mentioned it if you watched the entire review. A lot of you don't watch the entire review, so I'll mention it in the beginning of the review, which most of you already know because this is, once again, a throwback review. Um, they don't come with fucking... Oh, shit, I might have to... I'm, they don't come with stands. And for as much as they cost when they come out, why do these not come with stands? What is this? This is not a stand. How can you even get her to pose on that? Hopefully the directions might say something about it, but how, how are you getting her to do this? How is, how is she doing this? How, how is she doing this? Come, like what what is happening? They need to stop it with this. But yeah, that's the box, Not, nothing too special. Very similar to Tomioka's. I think I hit my camera. All right, so we don't have any issues with focusing. I'm going to go ahead and bring her in without the uh, box in the background. But yeah, we are getting a lot more of the same. Uh, very similar to uh, Tomioka, just in a smaller version. Let's see if I can get this to focus the way I want it to. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, just, a, just in a smaller version, I would assume. The articulation is about the same. The pants are basically exactly the same, just smaller. The belt is a little bit smaller, so it's not as painted. Doesn't have as many silver, but it is just as bad as his was. Buttons are fine. Her face is wonderful. Face is absolutely beautiful. The the uh, the uh, butterfly on the back of her hair is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Again, the kanji on the back. Then we have the designs on her shins. They look absolutely wonderful. No issues with those at all. And even the bows look just fine. They don't look all like muddy, painted, and ill sculpted. Love it, love it. Same thing with her feet. They look the same. So yeah, it's not too much going on with this girl. Same issue with the shoulders. But the more I review these guys, the less I'm going to going to talk about that because it just seems to be the nature of the uh, beast when it comes to uh, Bud, Buzz Mod in this line. But yeah, she looks she looks good. She looks just as good as Tomioka did. So that is it for aesthetics. Let's move on to the accessories because she has a ton of them. All right. So for accessories, we have her jacket here and it looks beautiful um i think it's supposed to have kind of that tint to it in the in the uh like the collar the neck collar of this i hope it's not i hope that's not like stained because i did get this used if anybody uh watches this and has this figure let me know if this is the same color as yours because if not i'm gonna have a problem with that but uh if it's supposed to look like that, then fine. But yeah, I love the uh, line work all throughout her jacket. Everything looks good. I love the material. It's nice and like silky like. Very feminine. Very, very feminine. I like it a lot. <clears throat> then we have her faces. Here we got a face with her eyes closed, just like Tomioka. <laughs> but it looks good. It looks really good. She's much smaller, so. The paint, for them to be able to paint her is a little bit more impressive, so I do like that face. Then we get her super happy face. Um, this is fine, but again, because she's so much smaller, I understand why it's not as detailed 
as Tomioka was. But uh, it still looks good. But that's it for faces. She doesn't have an angry face. I don't understand why she doesn't have an angry face. Um, then she also comes with the kneeling legs. So that's cool. Nothing special about these. They're painted really nicely on the shins too, just like the ones on the figure. She comes with those. Then obviously the little stand for her to kneel on. Then she comes with her weapons. And so she comes with this itty bitty sword. And it is absolutely tiny and super bendy and breakable. So watch it. She has itty bitty tiny kanji on there, both sides. She has like flower. I don't know if that's a flower or if it's a uh, if it's also a or it's supposed to be a butterfly. But and then it's painted really nicely for her, something so tiny. But she comes with two of these. And now I don't know why she comes with two of these. Um, I don't recall her having two swords in the anime, so that's weird that she comes with two of these. But she comes with the sword in the scabbard that doesn't come out so you can't pull that out but I love the way this looks this is a beautiful scabbard I love the way that looks looks really nice but then she comes with another scabbard that doesn't have the uh, doesn't doesn't have the sword in it also done although it still has the hole in it so okay even though you can't stick anything in it uh, can you I haven't tried this. Let's, let's see if this. Let's see if you can. I, 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 I would imagine you can't because they didn't because they wouldn't have made a version without it. But they didn't know you can't stick that in there. Interesting. Um, and then she comes with her effect pieces. So this is all. This is not one piece. This is several pieces put together. But I went on ahead and just put them all together to for or to make it look like the uh, this. Like make it. Blah. I cannot talk. I built it the way that it looks like on the back of the box, but something like this, something like this, I don't know, but it's done nicely. I like it quite a bit different than uh, what you saw, what, what the Figma one looks like, getting a little bit closer, um, but I like the way it looks. I thought this was, is this supposed to be a bunch of flowers? Because on the Figma one, these look like butterflies on the Figma version. Are there some pieces that look like butterflies? Is this supposed to be a butterfly? I mean, it, it's very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not sculpted very well in order for you to believe that this would be a big thing of butterflies. It's kind of a big thing of mush hard to describe exactly what I'm looking at here but uh yeah that that's it for her accessories again no stand that absolutely blows my mind all right for articulation her head does go up a little bit at least on her you try to get that neck in there a little bit goes down then I haven't taken her apart but I assume she has the same kind of joints in her head let's see it looks like it yep so, I mean, she gets some side to side. She can look up. She's a, she has a slightly better head and neck than Tomioka did. Arms can get way up here. Then, of course, they can go all the way around. But you, again, you have to watch that joint because that joint will not move smoothly unless you help it. Um, again, why can't we get more than 90 degrees with these elbows? And you also get your, your, bicep swivel in there, but you can also get it there. Uh, wrist, wrist is on a hinge. Let's see what she can do in her chest. All right, let's see. She can go back decently far, it's not too bad. And then forward on that, just that joint, you get um, basically nothing. Uh, can get some side to side out of that. Then we, oh, can she spin on it? Yeah, she can spin on it, it's fine. And then with the uh, lower joint, obviously she can spin on that. She can get forward a lot more, backward a whole lot more, and she gets way more side to side. Then we have the legs. See, she can, oh, 
we pop off there. Uh, uh, let's see if I can get this on the camera. I probably can't. All right, that was a chore to get that, that uh, leg back on, but she can do the splits, so that's good. Thigh swivel, back very far, forward very far. Quite a bit forward. Um, slightly, maybe slightly over 90 with the knee, maybe. And then we have the ankle that goes up that far, down that far, and a really good ankle rocker there. So her articulation is slightly better than uh, Tomioka's. So, all right, that is it for articulation. Let's move on to comparisons. Alrighty, now here she is next to Tomioka and the uh, Figma uh, Shinobu. And the Figma Shinobu is a little bit bigger than she is, to be honest with you. Now this, this, I just now put this on her and I will admit this is a little too big, um, almost way too big. Now I do remember it being super flowy and kind of larger, kind of a little bit big on her in the anime, but um, this is comically big. Now you might be able to pose this away. I'll probably have her pose similar to have similar to how I have him pose. But yeah, this is a little big. I think I prefer this over this, but this is also kind of weird. So I don't know. I'm, I'm torn on, on how I feel about the uh, the soft goods on her because she's so tiny. But anyway, that's uh, that's how she looks with them. All right, and here she is next to Akaza and Rainbow Mika. This an SH figure art and another Figma there. Obviously, Rainbow Mika, it, it towers over her, but that's how she looks with them. All right, and now lastly, here she is with Miss Marvel, and I forget the other girl's name on this side, but it's a third party figure, but it's really cool. But obviously, she's gonna be way shorter than them. But uh, that is it for comparisons. Alrighty, and finally, my final thoughts. Um, She's okay. She's all right. She's all right. Being be honest with you, the jacket is really throwing me off. I'm not gonna lie. It's just too big. Um, but other than that, I think she looks great. Um, I hate that the jacket is too big though. I, I can. I'll try to probably maneuver her. Uh, see if I can pose it away. But that's gonna be. It's that's, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. But. Um, anyway, that's it for the review. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.